Hi, this is Simon from Fingers on Plastic and me and my mate Chris here, you may remember as being the worst cameraman in the world, have come to Wantage to check out Toy Planet's new place. So we're going to go in take a look around. We have masks. So we got some plushies, including... <laughs> I love this guy. Oh, Stripe! Is that Yoda thing oh. and then there's this Yoda thing. So this is a teddy. I quite like that actually. Star Wars stuff. That's cool. To edit some of the floor out, <laughs> point it down, and we get any peepers. Oh. Honestly, I think the Star Wars Lego is so cool. I found some transformers. <laughs> okay. Kind of want the Megaton because I've got the Optimus. <laughs> so, for the hardcore Star Wars collectors. We've got, I believe he said, the biggest collection of mint graded figures. Um, some proper cool ones in here. Price, uh, for, for the hardcore collectors, it's prices range from £80 up to three grand. Oh, I love that tie as a kid. <laughs> so complete. I had that Yoda as a kid. I'm sure that Darth Vader smelt like licorice. <laughs> Really cool figures. Uh, some more over here. And we've got a, I've got a Rancor monster. Sounds like a euphemism, isn't it? Now? And for the Masters of the Universe, we have a flocked panther, skeletal, many faces, wasp guy, snake mountain. It'd be helpful if little Dave was here now, if you'd yell out some random names. Ram Man. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Stratos. Human on its arms. So I'm trying to be careful not to get these people in so I'm sure some weird camera angles in this. Predator is really awesome. I like that.
to look for this one. Huh? How cool is that? More Star Wars. Oh, wasn't that a video game? Yeah. Right here we've got some DC figures. Uh, I'm pretty sure Shell's uh, X and Ferris has done a review of Green Lantern there. Huh? Paddy, we have ourselves a G1 Ultra Magnus and a G1 Galvatron. That's quite impressive to be able to see a, a G1 Galvatron. <laughs> Visionaries. My goodness. Visionaries. That brings back some memories. It's the other side of this cabinet. And that's some um, wrestling figures. Animal, Ultimate Warrior, Smash and X, Earthquake. Next to the Bushwhackers, RS, some proper classics in there. Some Thundercats. Yeah, some more G1 goodness and some uh, go bots. Pretender box hiding. Optimus Prime there. Cheers, guys, have a good one. Thank you. Some Ghostbusters. Oh, that makes me feel young again. It takes some effort nowadays. Now these figures, I really like. Shell has done a review on each of those. On the Builder figure. Sorry, X and Ferris. Follow her channel. Uh, and I really like them, but I don't think many people do, which is a shame, because I think it's cool. <laughs> Remember that guy? It's interesting, I've not seen all those for a while. Bike and ice from Mars. This is modeling as a. Oh, that's, I think um, little Dave's done some of these, but these are the ones that he's been doing, and he did. Nice. The I wish they'd say on them who they are. Yeah, you don't need to, look. <laughs> Evil Knievels. Terrorhawks. That's extremely rare. That's the Jaws figure from James Bond. It's the only 12 inch figure they ever made. In that range. That's the original 1964 Pagan Head Action Man. Oh, is that the one like, with the switch on the back of the head no, that makes his eyes wibble? they didn't do that till the 70s, it's the 60s. Oh, that's crikey, yeah. This is the original 1964 um, DVD5. Turtles. Oh, we seem to have something for Optimus Prime and 
Drew it here. point out was we've got an arcade area so we've got Street Fighter 2, Turtles, <laughs> so yeah nice little uh, arcade area Right, let's go and look at some video game equipment. <laughs> game Boy Shape Screen. Amni Bows. Amni Bows. My God, I can't even say it. A bit, a little Dave will be pitching a fit when I say that. There we go. What did that stupid boy say? <laughs> Quite a selection of them. You've been buying these things as well, haven't you? No, no. No, no, that's just a little day for these things. I'm sure there was something you said you were buying, and I remember. Thomas has a few of these. I, I am tempted by a couple of them. I really like these um, control holders. I don't know why. <laughs> Magnum. Oh, that's not holding. Oh, it's a holder. It's a phone holder. <laughs> If they had charging capacity, I'd be tempted. But there's a really cool. Um, oh, I think there's a Master Chief one of these, which is really yeah. cool. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. We've got some consoles up at the top. Nintendo 64. And. Oh, I used to love, I played this game to death. Ooh, that was a bit inappropriate. I played that game a lot when I was a, a lot younger. Shocking how old some of these games are. Oh, I liked um, mega games, because it was columns. I used to spend hours and hours and hours playing yeah. columns. And speedball too. There's some great games here. Oh, Jungle Strike. I love those. How come those Strike games have never been remade? I used to, I used to remember I had the um, the Airwolf theme tune in my head, flying around. It was Desert Strike as well, wasn't it? Desert, yeah, Desert Strike, Jungle Strike. That was the third one. Games. And we have some Xbox. Brute Force, that was a good one as well. It never really, I don't think quite as much as attention as it deserved. But I think that and this little Dave will happily test. Apparently my taste in video games is terrible. Lots. And then we go for all the Xbox 360 games. Although I wonder if they've got a game, the first game I played on the Xbox 360 was a game called The Outfit. Um, I absolutely bloody loved it. I thought it was just awesome. And Mercenaries 2. That was good. Okay. 
Xbox 360 is still my favourite period in gaming. It was just awesome. I loved my 360 days. Never played that. Neither have I, but I don't think it's supposed to admit to it. No. First but, one. Yep. It's on Game Pass, isn't it? I'm sure it might be on Game Pass. Game Pass is really just killing it recently. Ooh, Mech Assault. Love that game. There are some Ghost Recons. Mentioned it a bit ago. Brute Force. I really like that game. What else have we got? We've got some DS stuff. My lack of Nintendo knowledge is going to shine. I don't think that's even... It's not Nintendo, it's Dreamcast. <laughs> GameCube, that's Nintendo, right? Yeah. So we get another epic selection. And we got ZX Spectrum. It's, it's, yeah, some of the stuff you forget. Existed though. Yeah, had one of those. Yeah. Is that? Some game and watch that I remember having. Is it that one in there called Squid? <laughs> Oh, let me get the original PlayStation, but I know it is. Let's finish this bit. That's the thing I specifically want to look for every time. So I test, see if I've got it. Oh, Returnal. <laughs> Do you think Dave's got, um, John's got his Returnal yet? Yeah, I think he said it. He's, he's, he's got it now, has he? He's probably, I don't think he's given up on it yet. <laughs> oh, I couldn't figure out. Have you played Ark? It's on Game yeah, Pass. Yeah. It just dropped me into the, like, this pond, and I couldn't figure out how to get out of the pond. <laughs> There's a lot of random spawn points, and then you have to kind of build up the way you go and yeah. build the base. Team dinosaurs. Oh, I'm really loving um, Second Extinction. I'll have to give that a go. Yeah. It's yeah. so fun. It's just killing us of dinosaurs. It's Dino Crisis, basically, but it makes me a destiny. But what we're looking for here, do they have Power Move Pro Wrestling? I loved that wrestling game as a kid. Say as a kid, as a Ooh, Doom 2, that was always good as well. Dino Crisis 2? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting some real Dino Crisis. Well, it's just lots of dinosaurs you have to kill and you have to complete objectives. It's, it is a lot of fun. On the roof, the ceiling, we've got a giant great big which is rather cool. I love the Lego City stuff. I'm a, I just love it. 
I've had so much fun building this stuff with rice. Oh dear, oh dear. I do believe Chris is going to be tempted once again. Oh! <laughs> For those wondering, Chris has wanted... Every time we've been to a Comic Con, he's said, I want a shield. I want... <laughs> I think you wanted the metal one, the one that's really the pricey one. A really expensive one, yeah. So yeah. So, so we went to the old Toy Planet shop and it was quite a bit smaller. I didn't like the layout of it. I like I like this shop. Now this is customary, I need to go and pick something to buy because I always have to buy something in a shop. There's a lot to choose from. So from the outside we've got a Lego display. Village. I've not played Village, I still need to play the last one but I'm pretty sure it's free John out. So that was Toy Planet, really cool place. So if you're in Wantage, absolutely you need to come here and spend some money. I bought a little Commander Class, no not Commander, Commander Class, Core Class Megatron to go with the Core Class Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, nice, knowledgeable as well. Um, if like, so Space Bridge if you want your Transformers, but if you're into your Star Wars, this is the place to come. The the Vintage graded stuff is, I think he said it was the, one of the, the biggest collections in the UK, maybe Europe. There's a lot of really cool Star Wars stuff hidden back there. But yeah, um, not much else to say. Sorry, this, that, that one's going to be a, that's probably been a bit of a choppy video because I need to cut people out. So I don't know how it's going to look, but awesome, awesome place. So yeah, if you're in Wantage, come visit. When we parked for Toy Planet, um, there's also a B&M and a home bargains here for you, your toy hunters. So it's worth seeing. So we're just in B&M as well, having a peek. So, some pops, 
some cyberpunk figures, which has got Chris quite tempted. Um, I haven't seen much in the way of the funny transforming figures knockoffs as usual. We've got slime, bloody slime. <laughs> oh wait, wait, here we go. We're, get, we're getting into the section now. We've got what's going on here. Sure that X and Ferris could tell us what they are ripping off. down from Toy Planet is B&M. A little bit down from B&M is Home Bargains. Can I? Chris has just handed me something quite interesting. It is a transforming postman pattern. So now I reckon if Odomus got this he'd probably want to class it as an Optimus Prime. It's more Ironhide. So yeah, I was just looking, wow. Well, I was wondering where the cheap... Now that is the stuff that um, X and Ferris picked up in her first video. You should go and check out her channel for looking at that. That's a lot bigger than I thought it was actually. Quite cool. <sighs> Light seekers awakening. Oh, there's more of it down here though. It's purple dude. We're yeah, 99. Is it okay? I'm not sure what it is. I think it's some sort of mobile game. You unlock things with the toys and... Bring your hero into the game. Unlock new video games. A bit like the Skylanders type thing. Oh, <laughs> So as you can see, we've got Toy Planet uh, there. And then you've got uh, a nice Sainsbury's We've got a B&M Which Chris has just gone back into Because he's got the figure itch For some Cyberpunk 2077 figures so He picked one up and now he's gone back for another one And we've got Basically, <laughs> but uh, I, I can't stress enough how much of a visit uh, I'm to coming to see Toy Planet. Uh, very, very cool place. Alright, and that is about it. So this video is rapidly turning into uh, Lord of the Rings Return of the King with all these endings, isn't it? I'm out of practice with Toy Hunts, alright? It's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, I've lost Chris, so um, he went into B&M and he bought this. Because he goes, we well, stood there and all of a sudden he goes, you're breathtaking! And he picks this up. And there's another figure that goes with it. And he went back to go and get it and I've not seen him since. <laughs> lost him. Gone. Uh, Apparently his wife drinks copious amounts of Pepsi Max cherry as well, so he got some of that. I got uh, this little dude, because I've said it many, many times, I love Megatron as a tank. It works. But that is it for Toy Hunt in Wantage. As I've said it a few times now, you need to go, if you're in the area, close to the area, it's worth a trip. There's plentiful parking here. you got your Sainsbury's and all sorts. So it's worth the trip to come and check out Toy Planet, especially if you're after vintage Star Wars stuff. Uh, there's, there's so much cool stuff in there. There was that, that Jaws and his knowledge, and he'll talk to you as well. 
Uh, funny enough, I, I had about three or four cut chats with him as I was walking around, and I think there's only the George one, Jaws one we got on camera. Uh, out of practice with toy hunts. Um, I'm planning on going to visit Matthew from Toy Therapy, and so we'll I'll see if we can sneak it in a cheeky toy hunt with him as well. That'll be fun. But oh, here's Chris, here's Chris. He's got a bag. He's got a bag, he's creeping in. He's definitely bought more than just what he said he was gonna. What have you got? Sweets for the kids. Sweets for the kids. Did you get your cyberpunk figure? I got the cyberpunk can, can figure. I just flash it at the camera? Oh, Ooh. sorry. It's very tight, I mean, it's fine. £12.50. £12.50? That's cheaper than the last one then. No, I think it's the same. Oh, 12, twelve fifty. I really like this. I I really hope that they fix Cyberpunk because I really want to play it, but I'm not going to buy it whilst it's so broken. Anyway, this is, as I was saying, I'm so out of practice. This is like the third <laughs> wrap up I've recorded. I dread to think what this video is going to be like. Um, but that is it from me. Um, thank you very much. Fantastic.